Welcome back. In the previous two videos, we learned how to navigate to different routes using the link and navlink components. For the most part, it is pretty much all you need. However, at times, you might need to programmatically navigate to a particular route. For example, let's say you're placing an order on Amazon. If the form submission is successful, you would be navigated to order confirmation page. The scenario can hold good for any type of form submission as well and is definitely needed in one or the other application you're going to build. In this video, let's learn how to do that with React Router. Now we don't have an e-commerce website or a form to submit. So let's assume that is the scenario and implement a button click handler where we programmatically navigate to a different route in our application. For our example, on click of a place order button in the home page, let's navigate to the order summary page. Back in VS Code, in the components folder, I'm going to create a new file order summary.js Within the file, I'm going to create a simple component that reads the text order confirmed. Next, in app.js, I'm going to add a new route. Path is going to be order hyphen summary and the element is going to be equal to the order summary component. Make sure to import the component at the top. If you now head to the browser and navigate to localhost 3000 slash order hyphen summary, we should see the text that our order is confirmed. Now a page like order confirmation isn't something you navigate to on click of a button or a link. It typically happens after an event is successful. For example, placing an order. So let's add a button in the home page that says place order. So in home.js, wrap the JSX with fragments and add the button place order. What we want to do is on click of this button, navigate to the order summary page. To navigate programmatically, React Router provides the use navigate hook. Let's import it at the top. Import use navigate from React Router DOM. And we can now invoke this hook within the component. Use navigate. This hook returns a function which we are going to call as navigate. So const navigate is equal to use navigate with parentheses. Using this navigate function, we can now navigate to the order summary route on click of the button. So button on click arrow function and we call navigate passing in the path for the route, which is order hyphen summary. Let's save the file and test it out. We're in the home page, click on place order button, and we are navigated to the order summary page. The route is order hyphen summary, and we see the text order confirmed. We have successfully navigated programmatically. Now implementing a back button programmatically is also done with the use navigate hook. Let me show you how. In order summary component, I'm going to add a back button. So wrap with fragment and then a button that says go back. Now let's repeat the same steps as before. Import use navigate hook from React Router DOM call the hook and assign it to a constant called navigate, which is a function. And on click of the button, 
call navigate. But this time, we simply want to go back in the browser. And for that, we pass in a value of minus one. Head back to the browser and click on go back. We are navigated back to the home page. Place order, go back. Of course, you normally wouldn't go back from the order confirmation page, but I just wanted to show you an example of navigating back programmatically. Now you might also want to replace the history instead of pushing a route onto the stack. For that, you can pass in an optional second argument. So in home.js, to navigate, we pass in an optional second argument, which is an object with a property called replace set to true. Now I'm going to close the browser and reopen it behind the scenes. So localhost port 3000. Now click on place order. If I now click on the back button, you can see we have come all the way back instead of going back to the home page. This is because we replaced instead of pushing order summary onto the history stack. So to summarize, React Router provides the use navigate hook to navigate programmatically. Call the hook within the component and use the returned function to navigate passing in either a path or a number that indicates a change in the history stack. If you want to replace the history, pass in the optional second argument with replace set to true. All right, thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.